Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Dornier Sea Star is a turboprop powered amphibious aircraft built largely of composite materials. Developed by Claudius Dornier Jr. of Germany, it first flew in 1984. The design is owned by Claudius Jr.'s son, Conrado, who founded Dornier Sea Wings AG now Dornier Sea Wings to continue work on the project after two previous firms, Claudius Dornier Aircraft and Dornier Composite Aircraft, both went into bankruptcy. Development of the aircraft was put on hold without any production Sea Stars being completed in 1991. Multiple attempts to put the Sea Star into production, often as a joint venture with other aerospace companies, were made throughout the 1990s and early 2000s. However securing the necessary financing to proceed to the manufacturing phase proved challenging. After several false starts, in October 2009, Dornier Sea Wings announced that it was formally launching manufacturing of the type, although no aircraft were actually built. In November 2018 the company received 170 million US dollars in funding from its Chinese backers to construct a manufacturing facility and one prototype for flight, with production to follow in 2021. The first prototype, a proof-of-concept aircraft using the metal wings from a Dornier D-028 and with large struts bracing the wing to the sponsons, conducted its maiden flight from Hamburg on 17 August 1984. A second prototype, which was more representative of the definitive design, featured several alterations these included the adoption of a new composite wing, which connected with a set of cabane struts to the fuselage only, and was a larger aircraft overall. On 24 April 1987, the second prototype made its first flight from Oberpfaffenhofen. Development work on the project came to a close in 1991. A total of three aircraft had been produced at this point. In 1990, a European Certificate of Airworthiness was received for the type in 1991. American Airworthiness was also granted to the Sea Star. During the 1990s, the program encountered severe organizational issues, including a lack of funding and backers who subsequently withdrew their participation. In November 1989, the company behind the Sea Star, Claudia Stornier Aircraft, filed for bankruptcy, amid claims that the German government had failed to support the project. Prior to this, more than 50 options and letters of intent had been received for the type. In 1990, Dornier Composite Aircraft acquired the Sea Star program, but this firm was also bankrupt within two years. As a result a new company Dornier Sea Star was formed to complete the aircraft's development and to produce the type, and began to seek partnerships with Asian companies to achieve this. In October 2 of 9, Dornier Seaplane announced that it would launch production of the Sea Star, according to Dornier Seaplane Chief Executive Joe Walker. The aircraft had been well received by a variety of public and private operators, and had received more than 25 letters of intent to procure Sea Star. He also stated that 2010 would be dedicated to selecting a final assembly site and major suppliers for the aircraft's manufacturing, and the first aircraft was then scheduled to be rolled out by the end of 2011. In May 2010, Dornier Seaplane announced that it would build the Sea Star in San John Shurish Shiloh, about half an hour away from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. The site was picked due to the strength of the local supply chain and presence of skilled aerospace workers, as well as its proximity to Lake Champlain for flight operations. At this point, the company aimed to deliver their first production aircraft in 2012. Production was projected to rise from a single aircraft in 2012, to 6 in 2013 and to 12 in 2014 dependent on demand. As many as 50 Sea Stars per year could eventually be built. The Dornier Sea Star is a parasol wing flying boat, powered by a pair of Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A112 engines mounted in a single nacelle over the wings in a push-pull configuration. In general layout, it strongly resembles both the innovative Dornier Val all-metal monoplane flying boat of the 1920s, of which over 250 examples were built, 
and its direct successor, the large Adornia Flugzug Work East EO 18 of the 1930s. Locating both of the engines in the center of the wing enables the weight of the engines to be more effective in reducing any induced rolling motions, it also protects the engines from water spray, reducing corrosion, and eliminates asymmetric thrust when operating. A series of improvements have been projected for the aircraft, such as the integration of an autopilot to enable single pilot operations. Other prospective improvements include the adoption of a glass cockpit, de-icing equipment, and air conditioning systems. Early production aircraft are intended to be compatible with the retrofitting of these improvements later on, according to Dornier Sea Wings. For surveillance missions the Sea Star's flight endurance can be extended to around 11 flight hours by cruising on only a single engine. It is also claimed that the Sea Star is one of the fastest flying boats on the market. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and until next time.